Hey guys, welcome back to eSigAdvance.com Reviews. My name is Cody and today I'm going to be talking about Flavor Art uh, juices. I have six from Flavor Art and uh, we were actually given these juices from NatureVapor.com. That's www.NatureVapor.com. Um, I have six 10 mil samples. Um, the milligrams on them I believe are nine milligrams. And on their site, you can get nine or 18. Uh, I'm not sure if those are the only ones they offer or if those are the only ones Nature Vapor had happened to get in. Uh, a 10 mil bottle is gonna cost you $5.25. Uh, that comes out to about 52 cents a milliliter. Uh, it's really not too bad. It's kind of on the lower end, so that's kind of nice. Um, so let's just get right on into it. Um, well, first off, I think I should say, uh, if you don't happen to know who Flavor Art is, they are uh, based out of Italy, and they are the ones doing the Clearstream study. Now, if you don't know anything about the Clearstream study, I would suggest doing a Google search for Flavor Art, and uh, reading on that, you'll probably have to translate the page from Italian to English, but it's really not that big of a deal. <clears throat> They're doing a lot of good things for us vapors uh, as an international, as, as a worldly kind of um, project. So to get started, uh, the first one I'm going to be doing is Seven Fogly or Fogli. Uh, I'm probably going to screw up all of these names because they seem to be Italian, but just bear with me, you know. I'm, we're, I'm from Kentucky, so we'll see. Uh, I'm using it in a 1.5 ohm dual coil cartomizer on uh, a variable voltage Ego. This is probably the longest mod I've ever used. I feel like Harry Potter or something. But uh, I'm starting it out at 5 volts, so here we go. All right, so I'm gonna take a smell of this and just see if I'm getting kind of what I'm tasting. The smell is very light. I don't smell a lot of, you know, much in there. It's like a light tobacco. Um, what they say on their site is that it's key elements from seven different blends <clears throat> that are combined to create a sublime flavor. The seven were chosen, the seven, I'm sorry, the seven that were chosen were Fire Cured, Bright Leaf, Burley, Shade, Perique, Latakia and Oriental, which offer a tobacco flavor that can still be used as a base for further developments. Seven Arts, se I'm sorry, Flavor Arts Seven Leaves uh, is a nice, dry, radiant tone with a light undertone of dried leaves, woody nuisances, and a spicy edge. Um, I'm not really getting a lot of spice out of this which, you know, I don't really have the most refined po uh, palette, but... I mean, there's a little spice in there, but to me, it's a really nice, uh, light, earthy tobacco. <clears throat> it doesn't really taste artificial. It actually kind of tastes like a, a nice tobacco. Um, not my favorite tobacco. I tend to like a little bit more sweeter or complex tobaccos. Not to say this isn't complex. They did take seven different types of tobacco and kind of blend them into one juice. So that's, that's kind of cool. Um, a little light. So if you, you're into lighter tobaccos, I would try out the seven Fogly or Fogli. Um, so that was that one. Next up, we're going to be doing Fragola. Maybe. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, when I looked on Nature Vapor's website, they didn't have a description for this one, so I just did a quick Google search and um, I translated it from English, I'm sorry, from Italian to English, and it means strawberry. So I can only assume that this is a strawberry juice. The smell of it smells very fruity, smells very natural, nothing really artificial about it. Uh, so let me Try it out. All right. So the fragola or the strawberry 
tastes really good. It's a really nice strawberry. It's a very earthy, organic, natural tasting strawberry. So if you're looking for something that's like those little strawberry candies or something like that, this isn't going to be for you. If you're looking for something that's more, like I said, an earthier taste or a natural tasting strawberry, this is a pretty good choice and it's at a really decent price. Uh, the nine milligrams for me, you know, the throat hit's pretty much non-existent. Uh, I've been vaping higher nicotine these days, so that's, that's okay. If you're a lower milligram vapor, you might actually enjoy it. <clears throat> but the strawberry, nice tasting natural strawberry. Uh, moving on, this one is Dark Vapeur. Let's get a smell of it. Wow. Wow, this is really weird uh, what I associate this with, but they say that it is certainly one of their favorite flavors. It carries a strong taste of dark tobacco that is long lasting and a sharp and is sharp uh, with dark cocoa nuances. Uh, I'm getting like a Tabasco smell, almost like if you've ever had the, the Cheez-Its that have Tabasco on them and you open the bag and smell, it smells exactly like that. Um, so let's see what the, the flavor's like. Make sure I picked up the right one here. Yeah, Dark Vapeur. Vapeur. It's one of those. So that smell I was talking about, like the Tabasco Cheez-It smell, <clears throat> it's kind of the only thing I really taste. I get some tobacco in there, but it's almost like you take tobacco, like a rich tobacco, and put some Tabasco in it, and this is what you get. It's kind of like a peppery, spicy, it's so hard to describe. Uh, if you want to know what it really tastes like, go get some of those Cheez-Its, the Tabasco Cheez-Its, and try them. This juice is almost dead on it, unfortunately. Um, not to say that that's bad. If you're looking for a spicier kind of vape or a spicy tobacco, this is actually, you know, might be up your alley. Um, but for me, I guess since in America we have those Tabasco Cheez-Its, it kind of ruined it for me. <clears throat> Next up, I'm going to be doing Latakia. Pretty sure it's Latakia. Uh, Latakia is the old style um, tobacco leaves. Oh, I'm sorry. It's old style. Imagine the tobacco leaves gently cured and oak, oak wood fire smoked. A deep taste that takes you on the wild prairie enjoying a hot cup of coffee at the side of a camp. So let's see if I feel like I'm on the prairie on the side of a camp when I vape this juice. Again, this one is Latakia. I'm gonna bump up my voltage a little bit more here. very woody, very earthy, kind of has a spicy flavor that's not as intense as the dark vapor. Again, throat hit's not really there for me. <clears throat> but the tobacco is actually a pretty, pretty complex style of tobacco. It's not really nearly as complex as the seven fogly or fog lie, but it is, I feel like it's the dark vapor with a milder tobacco, um, just not as much dark vapor, spicy tabasco -y taste. Um, the flavor itself is a little lighter. Um, I would say out of the tobaccos that I've tried so far, the dark vapor is the strongest taste. These are a little bit on the lighter end. 
Um, but it's still pretty enjoyable. It didn't take me to the a campfire or anything like that, but they have to describe it somehow, right? So, next up we're going to be doing RY4. Now, RY4 is, um, see their, des their description says, delivers a full-on flavor that many vapors long for, a distinct tobacco taste with a slight nuttiness, and an authentic RY4 sensation. So let's try this out. Let's get a little smell of it just to see if it's like an RY4 that I've had. Very light. All these juices are, are pretty light compared to American juice standards. We generally flavor our juices anywhere from, you know, 15 to 40% flavorings. These, I, I'm only assuming, but I know Flavor Art has like a whole lab set up and that they make their own flavors there. And I can only assume that these are the flavors that they, you know, they've made. So, they, in my opinion, they could be a touch stronger just so you get the full robustness of what the flavor is. But for people who like lighter vapes or something they could possibly want to vape all day, you know, the, again, these are right up your alley. So let's try this again. This is the RY4. Okay, so this is a traditional RY4. It's a very nutty tobacco. Um, I get a lot of nuttiness, uh, not a very strong tobacco presence. The nuttiness is, is nice. If you've tried RY4 before, <laughs> before, um, you'll, you'll kind of know what this is like. It's not caramely like a lot, some of the other ones I've had where it's nutty and caramel. This one is a straight nut tobacco. Um, not bad at all. So, moving on, my last one is tiramisu. Um, it's the only bakery style vape that they've, that I know of, that they came out with. Let's give it a smell. Let's see what it smells like. I'm totally smelling traditional Italian tiramisu. Um, there's no doubt about it. So, let's give it a bait. Oh, yeah. So the description of this says it is an Italian classic. It means bring me up, try and you'll understand. Well, the juice tastes exactly like tiramisu from pretty much any Italian place, unless it's some, you know, fake tiramisu or something that you get from like a grocery. But you can taste the, kind of like the, I don't know what they use in tiramisu, but like the cake portion in it, you can taste that. You can kind of taste the creaminess of it. Um, they hit this one right on the head. It's perfect. Um, for me, I'd like a stronger throat hit. The sweetness of this, there's not a whole lot of sweetness. It's pretty much that tiramisu flavor, which I actually enjoy because I don't really like very, very sweet bakeries. And in America, all of our bakery style vapes, no matter what you get, is gonna be extremely sweet. And there's something about that extra sweetness in there that just I don't really enjoy. Um, this has been the only bakery style vape that I can actually vape and, and enjoy for long periods of time. Other ones I can take a you know a blast or a toot or two, and then this you know and I'm done or something. But this one I can actually sit there and, and vape a tank of it or a cardo of it or or what have you. So this one's really really good. Uh, to conclude, I'll probably do my top three. So my favorite one, as you've probably gathered, is going to be tiramisu. Tiramisu is awesome. Uh, I would suggest people who like tiramisu to go pick this up as soon as possible. Uh, my second favorite one is probably going to be the Fragol, Fragola or Fragolia. Uh, that one is the strawberry, like the natural tasting strawberry. 
And out of the tobaccos, which are the ones left, I would say my favorite one is probably the the La, the, gosh, the La Taquilla. I'm really bad with these names. I apologize, guys. But the La, La Taquilla is probably coming in third for me. Um, I didn't really, really like the Dark Vapor with the spicy tobacco-y kind of thing going on. Even though the La Taquilla does kind of have that spiciness in there, it's just not as pungent. Uh, the RY4, it's a pretty decent RY4. Um, it's true to its, you know, like the original RY4s, but uh, I've kind of grown out of that style of tobacco. And the 7 Fogly or Fog Lie is just uh, a little too light for my taste. Um, <clears throat> and in all these juices, I would like the flavor to be bumped up just a smidge. Um, it'd be nice if we could order it that way, but. Since they're in Italy, it's probably near impossible to do that. So if you uh, enjoyed this review and you want to try some of these juices, you can check them out at www.naturevapor.com. Again, a 10 mil is 525, comes out to about 52 cents a milliliter. And you can get 9 or 18 milligram um, in your 10 mil bottles. As always, come check us out at the forums at www.esigadvance.com forums. Come post, uh, join our vape for free store. You can get vape for free, essentially. I mean, that's what it is. Um, so, hope you all enjoy the review. You all have a wonderful day.